Hi everyone, this is Jake. Today is 15 facts about acrobat ants, Chromatogaster scutellaris. I just want to say a big thank you to all of my new subscribers. I recently reached 2000. A 2k special is on its way. Welcome to the Mind of the World's Ants channel. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. Fact 1. Acrobat ants have heart-shaped abdomens. These small, unique ants have heart or spade-shaped abdomens that often bend over their thorax, therefore receiving the name acrobat ants for their flexibility. Fact 2. Mating flights happen in late summer between July to September. This species will have their nuptial flights in late summer, where the reproductive ants known as elates will fly out and mate with males before starting their own colony. Fact 3. Chromatogaster scutellaris are a small species of ant. This particular species of ant is fairly small, but certainly quite aggressive towards other animals. They can reach a length of about 7 to 8 millimetres in the queen, while the workers range from 3 to 4 millimetres and rarely exceed 5 millimetres. Fact 4. They raise their pointed abdomen when threatened or attacked. Acrobat ants raise their abdomens for a reason. They do this when they feel threatened or attacked. They also possess a sting which is not very strong. And as they raise their gaster to spray formic acid, this can be less effective on large animals, but powerful enough to kill other ant species. Fact number five. Chromatogaster scutellaris establish monogenous colonies. Multiple queens are accepted by the workers in the colony, but the queens are aggressive among them. This means that although the workers themselves are accepting of new multiple queens, the queens will fight for dominance within the colony. It can go either direction. Sometimes, the queens will live in harmony, and sometimes they'll fight to the death. Fact 6. Acrobat ants are mainly arboreal. This means that most colonies will live up in trees and logs. They build their colonies in stumps and fallen logs or dead branches, as well as trees. Acrobat ants can be found nesting in wood, but they do not damage the tree in the process. Fact 7. These ants are moth hunters. These ants are natural predators of the Thaumatopoeia pitiocampa, a moth that is a devastating pest of Mediterranean pines. By hunting this species of moth, these ants benefit their ecosystem, saving many tree species from dying. Fact number 8. This species has a Mediterranean distribution. They are present in Europe, as well as East Asia and North Africa. This species is fairly widespread, and considered invasive in some countries. Fact 9. This species is a host to two types of wasps. The Agonoid wasp, Blastophaga fessenes, and the Pteromalid wasp, Philotripesis carassae. These two wasps are parasites. Although serving a vital purpose in pollinating fig trees, the larvae of these wasps will live inside the ants, draining them of nutrients and eventually killing the host. Fact 10. This species is claustral, meaning that queens don't need food in their founding stage. During the founding stages of a colony, when a single queen will raise her first workers, she will not have to leave the nest to forage for food. This species is claustral, meaning the queens will have enough reserves from their wing muscle fluid to feed their first generation of workers. Fact 12. They move into abandoned and hollowed out nests from other insects. They move into spaces and chambers hollowed out and abandoned by other insects. As mentioned earlier, this species is often found living in trees, but rather than being the cause of destroying trees, they only accommodate already hollowed out tunnels and chambers from previous insect inhabitants. Fact number 13. Acrobat ants love eating termites and wasps. The species may be small, but they are very territorial and aggressive, taking on termites and wasps. Being an arboreal species, acrobat ants will often run into wasp colonies, sometimes termite colonies too. Another reason why acrobat ants are able to hunt wasps so well is because of wasps' distinct pheromone trails, which the ants can find all the way to the wasp nest. Fact 14. They are drawn to electricity and wires. Occasionally, acrobat ants will strip the insulation from electrical or telephone wires. The reason why ants are so attracted to electricity hasn't exactly been identified, but there's a possibility that the ants' attraction is due to the warmth of electronics. 
Fact 15. Acrobat ants can lift and carry three times their own weight. I hope you enjoyed this 15 fact video, and it has been a while since my last video in the 15 fact series. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. Here is just a quick update on how some of my colonies are doing. Currently, I'm trying to move two colonies into founding chambers, one Whitong and one acrylic. My Campanotus Queen and two workers moved into their new setup, but haven't gone inside their nest yet. My European Fire Ant colony and their natural setup are doing really well, and here's just a short clip of them eating honey. And here is a special guest to our channel, my banded flower mantis. Let me know if you want to see him featured in my next video. Thank you everyone for watching. Don't forget to give this video a like, and if you haven't already, subscribe to this channel. See you in my next video.